Good morning. Today is Thursday and we are getting ready for the day. Y'all just came back from the DR and it was so nice, y'all. The weather was amazing, but y'all, it's 80 degrees out here in Atlanta. It's hoochie daddy weather, okay? I gotta make sure I'm on point and I've been really up in my skincare, especially since I came back from the DR because my face has been so freaking dry from the sun. But as y'all can see, we are dork. I just love to make sure my skin is hydrated, especially after being in the sun for so freaking long. So every time I come back from a trip, I just love to make sure that my skin is hydrated. And I always love to go in with my good all. Uh, this is the vitamin C dark spot serum. And y'all, this is the number one vitamin C serum in Korea. Now, this is my favorite vitamin C serum because this is made from green tangerine. And green tangerine has 10 times more vitamin C than lemons. And I love that this is made from real fruits because it's super gentle on the skin, not like other vitamin C's that can irritate your skin. And every time I use this, I instantly get a glow because this product is fast absorbing. And I love that this helps brighten up the skin and also helps repair hyperpigmentation. And I'm gonna up the self care today and I'm gonna add some eye patches. Y'all know I love me some eye patches. These eye patches are the Jellified version of the Vita C Serum. It's gonna help brighten and also help with those dark circles under your eyes grow up. And these are so thin. You can't even tell they're there. Eye patches set apart from any other eye patches that I've ever tried because these eye patches actually melt into your skin from your body temperature, penetrating into your skin, girl, to get all those benefits from the eye patch, which I love. They're camouflaged into my skin. These eye patches are game changer. And also you can tell the areas where it brightened underneath my eye. Yeah. So girl, make sure you add Good All to your skincare routine and Mother's Day is right around the corner and Good All is having a Mother's Day sale happening from May 6th to May 12th. So make sure you hook yourself up and your mom so y'all can be glowing and all the links will be in the description box below. And like I said, I use this vitamin C every single day. I've talked about this so many times on my channel. I swear by it. It just helps you get a nice healthy glow even though it's your skin tone and helps brighten. So we love that. And thank you so much, Good All, for sponsoring this video. So we have a long day ahead of us. So let go. Been in the kitchen lately, and I just want to upgrade like all my appliances. And also, I do want to get a kitchen aid like mixer. Um, y'all, I ain't gonna hold you. Nar Smith been inspiring your girl, but my mom always had a kitchen aid. And oh my god, look at this coffee! Look at the kettle. <laughs> 
Why is that so cute? Anyway, so I'm actually here. I started off with my sales associate with an English accent, so I have to follow through so she doesn't think I'm a fraud. Anyway, but yeah, we're here in Royal Sonoma. I'm seeing if I can get some new appliances and seeing which one really speaks to me. So let's see. Look at this Meg coffee machine. Oh shit. Y'all, Williams and Sonoma has the Dolce and Cabana tea kettle. I did not know that. I think when I get a house, I'm gonna get like an actual coffee machine. Also, I wanna go to Crate and Barrel so I can get some new dishes because I'm asked due for some new dishware. But oh my God, this kettle is so freaking cute. I can't, oh, it's adorable. I really love how this version of a kettle you put on the stove and you warm it up. But I'm so used to just being, um, have my electric kettle and I just put water in it. But this um, kettle is so affordable. It's only $149, which I think isn't that bad. But yeah. But anyways, I'm just browsing in here. So I'm gonna see what it's giving. Y'all, so they didn't have the kitchen aid and the color that I was trying to go for. I want white or at least cream. So I'm walking down to a crate and barrel right now to see if they have the one by part in the another color. But y'all, it was raining so bad early and it's so hot right now. And I have on this big black hoodie. And sometimes when I have my tripod, I don't want to like put it in my hoodie anywhere because you know those people be trying to think it's something that it's not so I'm like you know I gotta keep my camera out anyway I'm gonna check on y'all once I make it to Crate and Barrel made it over y'all and I'm really getting this because it's on sale right now so oh the uh, five quarts so and also, I don't know if I said this, but I am getting the ice cream attachment for the KitchenAid because I've been craving sweet things. But as y'all know, your girl's on a whole new different lifestyle. So I've just really been into like making my own foods. So I'm like, let me go ahead and get me a little KitchenAid. And my cousin just called me and I told her, she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, girl, I'm trying to get a KitchenAid. They want to sell right now. And she was like, oh yeah, if them things don't play. And I was like, yeah, exactly. I need one. So. What yeah. are you craving? Even though my hair's a mess. Huh? What are you craving? That creamy shit. You want that creamy shit. <laughs> you want that creamy shit. What? I want some of that wet shit. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Can I get hey, that look, cookie? I'm gonna be browsing. Can I get a bite of your cookie? What is wrong with Can you? I get that cookie? No. Y'all, and this hand soap it smells just like the Josie Moran bohemian fig I like this I like it a lot now that's what I'm talking about that's what I'm talking about okay period yes cleaning section
up my mind Now let me leave you, you free up your mind Say your body talk to me nice Say not my love you didn't need for your life Yeah, I love to be like Good morning. Um, I need to hurry up and get ready for the day because I need to get my movement in. But I just woke up and I did not show y'all my kitchen aid yesterday. So I'm about to right now. I didn't open it y'all because yesterday I had a tent in my closet because it was so bad. So right when I got home, I just got straight to that. I got rid of three bags. I'm about to go donate. I donate my clothes at my sister's house. They have a location where you drop off the clothes in, in like these bins. <clears throat> so I'm going to drop off three bags of uh, clothes today. And then yesterday I organized my freezer so I can put the ice cream attachment in there because it has to be in there for 12 hours or to 24 hours. So I'm just going to leave this um, attachment in the freezer. Like this is where I'm going to store it. This is what it looks like. It's just this ceramic type of white bowl so the woman at the store she gave us a recipe to follow because i guess you need eggs to make your ice cream as well so she was like oh you don't even need eggs for this recipe it's so good um and you can put any flavor you want to in it and i was like oh period i'm just so excited so today i'm probably gonna make like a sherbet or something just with like strawberries and lemon just to experiment and get my feet wet. Wow, I feel so much like an adult right now. Like when I was at Crate and Barrel shopping for like home stuff, I was like, I feel like an adult. Y'all hear that? That is so crazy. I'm trying to figure out where I want to keep my kitchen aid. I mean, cabinets, but I need to clear it out. Y'all, I made this rosemary water oil a long time ago and it's still sitting up in here i'm like sweating <sighs> oh my god she's so cute and then oh my god i gotta get that pasta attachment as well so i can start making my own pasta oh my god i'm just so excited to just experiment and just do things and this is just gonna get, keep me motivated just to keep cooking at home because I'm like, I can just make it. And yesterday was such a crazy day, y'all. I'm not gonna let y'all know anything until it comes, but it's just like God giving me a sign that it's closer than what you think it is. Here we go. Hello? Ooh, it's heavy. She's a heavy girl. Who is she? Today, my husband asked for <laughs> so I decided to make it. Oh my god, like my kids are starving. I have to bake them something. I'm like shaking. I'm so excited. Like, I never thought I would be like excited opening up this fucking kitchen. Aid. I kind of personally know how to use this already because my mom has one. I did pick up this plate on the clearance section. I got it for only four dollars. I'm about to wipe this down put her away um wash all of the attachments that come with it and then i'm about to get ready for the day i need to go to the store get some more stuff for the week i am going to be leaving at the end of the week because it is mother's day so i need to go see my mama spend time with her and also my cousin just called me her b day is coming up and i'm treating her to getting her hair done so i want to make my way to chicago um so we can go get her hair done and we are going somewhere for her birthday this is somewhere i've never been before but i always wanted to go like this is one of the places i've been wanting to go because i see it's so lively can't wait to go there next week i'm just so excited for this machine like y'all just don't even know Won't I bitch always be on the floor? We carbon 
here like Mayweather, Tula come through with bow a hoe Got millions out that rap shit, they hate a bitch, but they slow the flow Got back in, at the back end, coming, fuck them, I stole the show Don't run up on that bitch, she a head case, all she do is shoot I signed my deal up on the PJ and hopped out of her shoot I'm geeked on next week, bad no more features, I might just third shoot I'm geeked on next week, bad no more features, I might just third shoot Yeah, glow, stomp a little pussy, the whole bitch with shell toes Yeah, glow, slap it, rap bitches and make it bell Just humble, they didn't appreciate em. Young, wealthy, and ratchet I'm the hood, bitches, motivation On top of the world now They tried to underestimate Get them, glow Them bitches fraudulent You know you the truth Get them, glow Stop overthinking These hoes can't I can't wait till I get home So you can tear the cherry out Turn that cherry out Turn that cherry out I can't wait till woke up from a fire nap as y'all can see my hair is done for but i'm about to get ready to go have one drink just one drink for a single day my own and i want a margarita i haven't drank in a long time i feel like i mean i drank a little bit when i was in the dr but i haven't drank a lot um, I really, really don't go off that much no more in Atlanta. Like, it's just, just so dry. And it's just like everybody has their own lives going on. And it's just, I don't know, I'm just in a whole different era than what I was when I first moved. Obviously, I'm getting older. And I have realized that I am the friend that is giving, let's hang out in the morning. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for coffee. Let's, you know, do some daytime things. I'm not really uh, going out to the club go to the lounges type of girl anymore that's just not my thing like i just want new experiences very wellnessy like you know the vibes is what i'm saying so i really haven't had a drink in a long time and i feel like i'm a really a social drinker but i haven't really had any social time for real 
And so I was like, okay, let's just go have one drink, Kyra. Just one drink for a single day of my own. But anywho, I woke up from my nap, y'all, and I was reading my comments from my video that I posted like two days ago, right? And a comment said, they're like, Kyra, I love your content. I love you, boo. But like, what exactly are you promoting? And I'm like, she's like, you don't even um do give back um, giveaways. Um, take us along with you to do a business, etc. Something like that. I'll post a comment um right here on the screen. But I'm like, I'm just sitting here thinking like, and she's saying that I'm so biased and all I care about is my looks and trying to be a bad bitch. As y'all can see, if you've been here for a while now, you've seen me transition from I'm just trying to be more natural, just trying to, you know, be comfortable with my own self. I don't need more lashes no more. Um, I get my hair done, but I'm really on this journey of doing my natural hair, which is realistic. Because she was saying that I'm not realistic on a day-to-day -day life, and I just live these unrealistic... I live an unrealistic life, and how unrealistic is it that I wake up, I get active, I eat, I shit... I come home, I go to sleep, I work, I do the whole regular nine yards and it's realistic and I take y'all along with me for this journey. And as far as like showing y'all like business side of things, I prefer to move in silence and then go ahead and start talking about it because I feel like when I say stuff, I swear to you, I swear to God, it does not happen. It does not work out for me. So I learned to shut the fuck up just be quiet and i'm just not a person that moves strategically when it comes to creating content i'm the type of person that if i feel like i am doing something by all means i'm gonna pull out my camera and record it but i don't wake up and i'm like oh i'm gonna write down what i want to promote today or strategically trying to come up with content to like strategically trying to come up with ideas to create content i'm not that type of girl there's so many people out here that promote specific things to maybe what you are looking for on what you want to you know learn from and take from um from a day-to-day -day basis or whatever you're looking for when it comes to consuming your content but i'm just not the type to make content based on per promoting something I feel like I've just been living my life and I'm just documenting it and that's just what it's been and that's how it's going to be. I'm not a planner outer type of girl. If if what I'm doing corresponds to what I want to record and what I want to put out to the world, that's what I'm going to do. And I, that's just how I'm moving. And then she said something like, I don't do giveaways or anything like that. I feel like I do giveaways all the time and some of y'all may not see what I do behind closed doors because that's not for people to see um but I'm always donating clothes I literally told just told y'all in the beginning of this video that I donated three bags of clothes like I'm just I don't I don't understand like this is probably why people stop creating content because like y'all I don't know like people always just have something to say you can't really control how people feel about you and that's how i go about things in life now i'm just like i do not give a fuck on how you feel about me if that's how you feel about me cool i understand like i don't care like i can't change how you feel about me and if you don't fuck with me that is okay because it's some other motherfuckers that do excuse my language there's other people that do sorry <laughs> no and I have a, ten a lot of tenacity when it comes to my YouTube channel, my all my platforms actually, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. I do a lot of hard work when it comes to my content. I take a lot of time and thought to what I want to put out as well. And I feel like what I'm promoting is that, no, fuck that. I, I'm not promoting nothing. But I always tell the girls to stay consistent and just do you and be authentic and that's how you're gonna win and keep god first don't try to move off what you see or this is how you're gonna get a following on tiktok this is how you're gonna get a following on instagram no do you boo and then the followers will come 
to because how authentic you are, how real you are, and all that, and then some. Period. Point blank. I mean, there are some people that do move strategically, and it works for them. By all means, but I just don't do that. But if you do, kudos to you. But yeah, that's what I have to say about that. I promote me, myself, and I. Period. But yeah, that just really was like, what? Girl, what are you talking about? I just fixed my bun. She's cute. Also, I need to show y'all what I got from the container store. And I did get a few packages in from Amazon. I just ordered some new brick linen sheets because I'm about to do a bedroom refresh. And the reason I went to the container store is because I want to organize my dresser that's next to me. So I'm going to organize that because y'all, it's a mess. It's so bad. So as y'all know, I'm growing into my older ages. I'm 30 now. So I need to, I feel like I just want to be organized on try to be organized on every aspect in my life like home work you know y'all know the gist <laughs> so i'm like i need to organize this drawer it's so bad did y'all watch the tom brady the biggest roast that shit was hilarious kevin hart was actually funny like kevin hart's cool like of course but he was really funny in his but I'm mad they got on Kim Kardashian like that. Y'all could have let up on my girl a little bit. So it wasn't even her roast. And my skin looks so good. But anyway, let's go. So I just got dressed. I feel like I never do like um, vlogs in my room. Because the lighting is just ugh. Um, but anywho, so I have on my favorite sweater from Abercrombie, y'all. Y'all have to get this sweater. It's just everything and then i just have on my retia black pants and like i said this is just a quick one two maybe i should put my glasses on should i to look smart to give this outfit just something no <laughs> anyways and then i've just been carrying my little satan um what is this palm springs and oh my god there was this bag that i let me shut up let me shut up let me shut the fuck up but yeah but yeah this is the fit and like i said it's just a quick drink and then i need to come back wash the sheets that i just got um i may clean and it's y'all mind you it's like 12 a.m but i may or may not clean i don't know we'll see but yeah let's go and i i need some more colors in this hoodie because this just everything period literally 12 44 and i have full energy anyways so change of plans y'all everything is closed and that's another thing too that's why i don't go out in atlanta no more everything closes so early now nothing stays open late and i'm not going to no lounge club nothing like it's not for me so everything closes early but anyways the mexican restaurants we're gonna go to they're closed so i didn't know it was about to be 1 a.m like i said y'all i took a nap and lost track of time anyways so what i'm about to do is play around with my kitchen aid because we obviously got groceries earlier i got the main ingredients which is only three ingredients lemon l lemon strawberries and sugar and i'm gonna use un unrefined sugar but anyways let me show y'all what i got from the container store because i got a few things that i want to show y'all so first thing i got was a new pan and this is a caraway um pan i've heard really good things about this and this is a cookware without chemicals non-toxic non-stick eco-friendly and i've just been needing a new frying pan to cook on so i'm super excited about this little baby and she's pretty big i'm not sure oh it comes with a cleaning eraser color also comes with gold accents but the ones at um this is pretty scratched up i should have asked for a discount um yeah this is all they had at the container store they had the gift set but i want to just try out the pan before i go like full throttle and get the whole set but anyway 
if you want to send your girl some pins, go ahead because I need some. Period. No dishwasher. <laughs> I don't want to just do some new dishes. I got some new bowls that were on sale. So I was like, okay. And the girls like, everybody is getting dishes. Yeah, bro, because they all on sale. It has like this rim on the top. And I got three of these. I do have my classic Target bowls, of course. But I just, you know, want to elevate the vibe to my kitchen. One more bag. I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to be organizing my top drawer tomorrow once I do my cleaning. But I got a whole bunch of organizers for that. And my drawer is pretty deep. So hopefully all these fit. I didn't do no measurements like that. Normally my mom would do that. But yeah, yeah I don't know that. I got a um, medium organizer. And this is by the ID Design. And I got a few, I got like three, four, yeah, one, three, five of these medium ones to go. And then I also got a tall organizer so I can put my remotes in because I have a remote for my bed and obviously my TV. And then I have pills that I keep in the next to my bed and also my nasal sprays that I use when I get sick occasionally or when my allergies act up their prescription so i just keep those bedside yeah anyways so i wanted to like have an organization in there so i have the tall bend divider organizer so i can't wait to see how i organize this tomorrow and then also i got a couple cable ties because i just don't like when cord show and also i have so many chargers in my beauty room makeup room especially like because I'm always like losing them and stuff and they accumulate over time. So there's so many. So I just got some cable ties to wrap them up. And then also I have these, these are just cleaning towelettes, but it says on the packaging, clear and healthy skin starts with a clean screen. Cause y'all know it'll be, be breaking out if your screen has bacteria. So I just got these so I can wipe my glasses off, my screens, whatever I may have. Then I got a new scrub daddy because it was overdue. And then also a silicone body scrubber. As y'all know, silicone attracts less bacteria than a loofah. So this is better for your body. So we're gonna see how this works out. I got these little custard cups. How adorable. And these were so affordable. I think they were worth like, I like five dollars. I'm gonna start getting the ingredients out for the sorbet because I'm craving and I'm just so excited just to play around with my kitchen. And also, I done Fred froze my ceramic bowl for about 16 hours now. We're excited, but I'm gonna put all these items up and then get started on that.
hey y'all so i just took a break from cleaning and also y'all i just got done watching some of the met gala looks because i was looking for beyonce okay i was waiting for the same sexist look to come out but no but honestly y'all tyla ate that up ate tyla zazaya um kylie jenner was cute kim kardashian what was that card again like, what is going on um like the girls was eating and i was here for it maybe one day i'll make it to the mat <laughs> you never know but anyways what is this i feel like my mom would just be ordering stuff so i just took a break from cleaning because i'm deep cleaning right now Some sheets from brook linen off of amazon so i always get the core sheet set and i just got this new color in pop balloon popping um what color is this it's like a warm gray because i just got some new bedding from west elm i got a new duvet cover and some pillowcases so i wanted to get brand new sheets and brooklyn and sheets are my favorite y'all they aren't obviously sponsoring this video but i really do like shopping brooklyn so y'all i did announce my giveaway on instagram so hopefully y'all are following me on instagram and following the rules and please don't try to go above and beyond and dm me email me like please don't that's not the rules i listed the rules on what to do you don't need to do all that extra stuff okay so i'm gonna choose a winner and i'm gonna be there and i'm gonna choose somebody that actually watched my videos and some sour sop I wanted to start taking the tea form so I got some um, leave tea and y'all know I'm in my tea era and then I also got some more of the PhD boric acid foam wash I like this wash and also I do love salt xo's foam wash their new wash and I love her new packaging it's so cute I need to order some more because I just and also I need to update y'all on the um sorbet yesterday it failed so basically with the kitchen aid basically with the kitchen aid ice cream attachment you need to leave the bowl in the fridge for 16 to 24 hours hello can you focus to 16 to 4 24 hours and i feel like i left it in for a good 12 hours but clearly that wasn't long enough because when I put the liquid in, it wasn't thickening. And it's only supposed to take 20 minutes. So today I'm going to retry because I put it back in the freezer. But today my electricity went out and I was kind of scared um, that it's going to defer the results today again. But I turned up the temperature in the freezer. So hopefully it works. I really want to try it. I've been craving something sweet and icy and i don't want some and also i seen on tiktok that somebody used a protein shake that's how they made the ice cream they just dumped a protein shake in the bowl and then whipped it up for a good 20 minutes and made protein ice cream that's exactly why i bought it to make something out of nuts Y'all know y'all when y'all be cleaning all day and then you just be hot and sweaty. So my mom ordered me the duvet cover. It wasn't my cart. My mom has access to all my accounts, y'all. So if she sees something in my cart, she's gonna go ahead and order it. I'm gonna have it out for me because I'm just so busy. I'm a one woman show, so sometimes I be needing her help. So she'll do that little thing, those little things for me. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go back to clean yeah so hopefully we finish in a good amount of time but i'm about to throw these sheets in the washer and dryer so they are good when i'm done organizing and stuff so they're good to go
Hey y'all, so it's currently 4 a.m. <laughs> 4 a.m. I just got done cleaning my house. And I'm just I just feel so accomplished. I've my or my nightstand 
has never been organized since I've been living here. And I've been living in Atlanta for three years. And oh my God, y'all, look at the sorbet. She's delicious. But my house looks so good right now. It smells amazing. And y'all, I need to hurry up and make my way over. Let me see. Let me tell y'all about this candle. I showed this candle before in my vlogs and her room right when she came, um, when she delivered some candles and a room spray to my house. I ran out of the room spray and her candle is literally overpowering all my other candles, the all the expensive ones. And I'm like, damn, her shit is raw. So I need to go get some more. It's the rebrand essentials. So her location is 1660 Chattahoochee Avenue, Northwest Atlanta. And this is the Instagram. And when I tell y'all, I've been freaking burning her candle down. The happy birthday candle she sent me. It smells so good. It's making my house smell like a vibe. So tomorrow I need to go there and grab my room spray. And also um, all the other stuff I want to get. But yeah, I'm about to fall at night. It's 4 a.m. But I got a new duvet cover from West Elm. They gave me a pillowcase with a uh, rip in it, and that is a no, no can do. Uh, I need to go take it. And I can't even believe I'm up right now. I am past my bedtime. This is crazy. But this sorbet, mm, now I'm going to feel like I'm an expert when it comes to making ice cream. And let me know down below what else I should make with my kitchen aid. Because I'm just going to be experimenting in the kitchen. Um, and also, obviously, with baking and stuff. I have a long week ahead of me. me now my days are going to start getting busy. Because I had some down days. But now, it's about to kick back up. And I'm about to be on go, go, go. Yeah, just, you know. <laughs> what am I saying right now? Just bear with me. Like, it's about to get busy. Okay? Don't forget to tune into my Instagram giveaway. I can't wait to select the winner. And also Nandi, I met her at, I met Nandi when I was on the topical strip and she reached out. She was like, hey girl, I'm moving and I want to send you some stuff. And she also is the vice president at Essence, y'all. Yeah, she's that girl, she's doing that thing. She wanted to send over some products and also some stuff over from Essence, which is pretty cool. And I love that. I love that she's supporting this giveaway, especially for y'all. I'm just so happy that y'all are going to be able to, somebody is going to be able to win this prize. And I'm just, you know, I'm just grateful I'm able to do this. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a Pisces girl. This is what we do. We just give back to the people that we love. And this is just, I love y'all, you know? So it's just in my natural habitat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope these vlogs aren't, you know, you know, I don't know. Shit. I'm at home. I'm living a regular life. I don't know. I don't know what y'all want from me. Like, I really don't. I don't know what you want from me. I'm trying. I'm just living my best life and I'm just documenting it. Okay. That's what needs to be said. I'm not promoting anything. I want you to be your best self always. And... I feel like if you out here fucking with a no good nigga, you know when you are ready to leave that no good nigga. Shit, I've been through that. Nobody can tell me nothing until I was ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Girl, you gonna move on your own time. Okay. What was she saying? Like, I don't give advice or something. I don't know. Like, that's why these comments, y'all, that's why you gotta ignore the comments. Because then you start overthinking. And I'm an overthinker already, y'all. I swear to God, it is so bad like i said something in this teen vogue interview i did with elise elise is who i met um and hey girl if you watch this elise is somebody i met in um on the top of trip as well i love these girls everybody that i've been on the top of those trips they are bomb and she has a segment in teen vogue because she um owns sad girls club She's all about being in the creative space, but also taking care of your mental health. Elise has a segment in Teen Vogue and it's called Soft Launch. And she wanted to interview me. And I was saying, so basically the interview was about how, you know, your religion helps you with your mental health. 
So, you know, I was answering questions. And like after I said it, I'm like, okay, those were really good answers you gave, Kyra. But then I'm like looking back and I'm like, did I say the right thing? I hope I didn't say like too little or I'm just like overthinking the whole situation because I'm like, uh. but at the time, like, you know, when I was dealing with my mental health, when I really had to heal myself, I was really at a low point in my life. And she had asked a question, how have your beliefs grown over time? My beliefs grown over time is because I was in a place where I was so stagnant. I was dealing with a no good nigga, y'all. And I was literally like, he was one of those things that he wanted me to cook and clean and shit like that. And I have my own household as well. So he wanted me to clean and cook over there and then come to my house and clean and cook over here. So I'm like, what the fuck? So it was really hard for me to, it was really hard for me to balance. I was just doing that and then doing my work. And that was it. I wasn't really living life. I was just existing. I wasn't living. So that is why I had to really put God first. And I wanted to, you know, move up in the world like everybody else was around me you know what i'm saying so i'm just like yeah like i don't know <laughs> i don't know i'm just overthinking everything that i said to her but it, it was nothing to overthink and i only overthought it today because i had coffee today and coffee makes my anxiety high so whoa i'm like yeah no no coffee for Cairo. Because <laughs> I start overthinking. I just want the best for y'all. So y'all gonna be but y'all gonna be pushing. I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud of the girls. We've been putting on y'all been doing y'all shit, especially on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all that. And I support every single body that comes on my TL. So hey, your girl, it is what it is. Anyways, I'm going to fucking sleep. I'm tired. It's about to be 5 a.m. And I love y'all so much. I messed up this sorbet. Mm, can't wait to make more. And I will see y'all in the next video. And don't forget to check out Good All's Mother's Day sale. Everything will be linked down below. that i need to go to rebrand essentials and grab her room spray and also some candles when i tell y'all her candles smell so good so her products are located in this black owned flower shop it's called ttoc um y'all need to go shop there support just ran over there to grab some more essentials because y'all know i stayed up late last night to clean my house and I just wanted my home to smell just like this room spray. I got two of them. When I say this stuff is so good, it's, oh my God, it smells like Sunday Reset in a bottle, just like clean linen.
Thank you.